All right, uh, back on the horse's head again today. Trying to get a little further along. I uh, brought a new uh, reference material into uh, my sculpting stand area and uh, I'll show you it here in just one second. Time to play with some clay. And here it is. It's an actual skull of a horse that I had sent to me back years ago, probably 30 years ago, from Oregon. It was a wild horse from Oregon. And uh, I had to take it to a car horse to clean out the, uh, the shells or the uh, bodies of all the maggots that uh, had uh, cleaned this skull so well. And then I painted the skull to look like clay, uh, just for the uh, shadow effect. And it wouldn't be so bright white like the uh, skull was. If you can get a hold of an authentic horse skull, it would really help you to visualize the uh, structure of the horse's face and skull but those are not easy to come by. I still got another horse head to do, but I'm gonna do them both uh, as quickly as I can. I don't know if I'm gonna get much done today. It's been a long day. Had my washing machine break down and had to go to the laundromat to do laundry because I got a funeral I'm going to on Saturday. And I had to get my clothes cleaned for that day and I didn't have my wash machine to do it with but I do have the dryer so that works out well it's a little bit of my personal life I guess that you really don't need to know <laughs> anyway back on the horse's head I propped the uh, head up a little higher. I got a photograph of two horses fighting each other off the uh, web and uh, actually Facebook. And uh, I just, this is the type of face I'm going to do on this horse. And this is the type of face I'm going to do on the other horse. So.
I took these pictures behind the uh, clay at a friend's uh, ranch here locally in Montana. And uh, they've always been extremely helpful to me to understand and see the uh, muscles of the uh, horse's face. Because you don't always get it from a drawing in a reference book as well as you can from real life. You're only as good as your reference material. And that's why I try to get the best reference material I can get. I cover a lot of this in a little more detail in my uh, instructional video on how to sculpt a horse from scratch and uh, how to sculpt a horse and a rider. I show how to scale a rider to the horse and how to connect the two. this just takes time Okay, I'm going to raise his head just a little and see if I can find some soft clay here. It's cold in the studio, so the clay is, has a tendency to get a little hard.
see how it's starting to turn out. I'll take some adjustment, but uh, it'll all work. I think you can see why I did the head away from the horse because it would have been near impossible to do it on the body. I could have done it, but it would have been just harder. I work on the muscles when I get to that point. I'm going to work on the other horse's head first, and I'll probably do that uh, next time. Uh, I got a funeral I got to go to this week, so this uh, next couple of days is going to be a bit hard for me to do this so it's a friend that I I had for in the last 30 years and uh, he passed away about a week ago last Friday and uh, I used to go to dinner with him and his wife every so often you'd hear me mention me going getting ready to go to dinner with some friends and that was the friend so I've been asked to speak at the funeral so I gotta work out what I'm gonna say probably tomorrow and uh, so I'll probably see you guys on Monday of next week for now that's the horse's head on this horse and I kinda like it I think it's going to work out just fine. All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.